In this video, we're going to go through the essential tools that will get you going to create digital art across platforms. I am demoing this in Photoshop, but these are tools that are pretty common and you're going to find across almost every single platform. So your job will be to figure out how to use the tools um, within your specific uh, hardware and software combination. Um, I think the most important thing in digital art and the biggest advantage, you know, you lose a lot doing stuff digitally. You lose a lot of individuality and, and sort of nuance. And But the big thing you gain is layers. And I'll show you how layers work. Over here, there's this thing called the layers panel. Um, and, you know, it's usually somewhere off to the side. And in a lot of inter interfaces, it's on the left. Sometimes it's on the bottom. Uh, I've got it put over here on the right. What you can do is add a few layers by hitting this add layer button or in the menu, you can add a new layer. Um, so what this allows you to do is um, get pretty sophisticated with how these paintings are built up. So let's say we get um, our marquee tool, a little selection tool, our little box tool. I'm going to create a little box and I'm going to put a just a color in it with the paint bucket. Okay. So don't worry about the paint bucket tool right now. I just want to show you what these layers can do. So I'm going to go up above that with another layer. I'm going to create another box, shift my color so you can see it, bucket fill that, and then go above that on another layer, create another box, shift the color, bucket fill that. Okay, so if I have the marquee tool, I can click outside of that box and it'll deselect or I can go to select deselect or in Photoshop hit control D. So what I can do at any point is shuffle the layer order and that layer order puts one thing behind the other and I can do that by just dragging and dropping layers, right? So I can change the arrangement of layers. Now this is all, you know, fun and dandy with um, squares, but when you're doing stuff like working with figures or painting with landscapes, things can get really fun in this way. The other thing that I can do with layers is I can actually select a layer, like, or the content in a layer. So this is bleeding over into selection tools, which is a whole different thing. But if I hold control and click on, on the I layer icon, that actually selects what's inside that layer. And if I select another layer, but keep that selection open, I can then take a whole other color and paint inside this area. But the interesting thing is when I deselect that, it's on this layer one. So if I move that down, it disappears. Um, but if I move this below everything, comes back, right? So layers allow you to do a lot of crazy, crazy things. There's also something called a blend mode where I can change how these layers blend with each other. And they all have different sort of effects and you can sort of explore those on your own. For the most part, I leave them, I leave it normal. Um, the other main thing to know about layers is that you have um, what's called an opacity. So you can take these layers and make them increasingly transparent. So if you want a subtle effect of layering, you can put the opacity down just a little bit. Right? So that's kind of fun. You can also do something like merge layers. So you can take any two layers, hold control, 
to select both of them and go to layer merge layers which is also control e they give you the hotkeys you'll want to memorize all these hotkeys eventually okay so now these layers are combined so they move together right so anything i do to that layer will kind of be affected so i'm going to undo that now i've got them separated another interesting thing is i can lock the transparent pixels okay so let's say i take layer one and I hit this button, it's called Lock Transparent Pixels. And um, most programs will have some method of doing that. Um, I'll pick a different color here. So this is our Lock Transparent Pixels color. What, what this does, it, it effectively takes anything that you've painted and um, only allows you to paint on top of that. So if you have a shape that you like, say you're drawing a building or something and you like the building shape, you can change the color and paint within that shape without um, messing any of the overall shape up, right? So if you wanted to create like, you know, some glow effect, like light is kind of coming across everything, you could paint within that shape and you can be sure that everything is gonna hold the shape, okay? So that's a brief intro to layers. Layers are your most powerful tool and your best friend in digital art. And um, I want you to get familiar with layers as, as your most basic, most fundamental, and most powerful tool. Even though it's so simple, it's the one tool that's gonna give you the most bang for your buck. And uh, that's it for this particular video. I'm gonna run through all the other tools in subsequent ones.